This video will show you exactly how to build Yoimiya. I'll be showing you her artifacts, weapons, pros and cons, and team composition. I just want to give a quick shout out before I start. Thank you all for subbing and checking my channel out. This past month have been insane. Now let's get right into Yoimiya's artifacts. If you are going for a no reactions comp, the 4 piece Shimenawa's reminiscence is going to be Yoimiya's best in slot in most team comps. The 4 piece set provides a 50% normal and charge attack buff throughout the duration of Yoimiya's elemental skill, which will make Yoimiya hit really hard during this time, along with an 18% attack for 2 piece bonus. The downside of this set is you will lose 15 energy every time you activate your elemental skill, making it harder for Yoimiya to use her elemental burst. The 4 piece Retracing Bolide is another set you can use if you are running a team with shields. This only provides a 40% normal and charge attack buff but you won't lose any energy, so you don't need to worry about any micromanagement and timings for Yoimiya to shine and hit hard. The plus side is you may have a 4 piece set with good stats already, saving you recent for other stuff. For the last non-reactions team artifacts, the 2 piece Shimenawa, 2 piece Crimson Witch is a good all around artifact combo that will provide consistent damage and the most flexible choice. This set can arguably be better than 4 piece Shimenawa because you will have much more options in terms of weapon choices such as using a Hamayumi bow for Yoimiya. If you are running a reaction based team, the 4 piece Crimson Witch will give Shimenawa a run for its money because of its insane 4 piece effect. Also, you can even run the 4 piece Shimenawa in a reaction team. The 4 set effect is really easy to keep up, Yoimiya is basically a 1 button turn with this set. Stats you should aim for on Yoimiya's artifacts are crit rate or crit damage on hat, attack percent on timepiece, pyro damage on goblet. Try and aim for a line or two of elemental mastery on your substats if you are running an overload comp, and you may want to consider energy recharge as well if you are running 4 piece Shimenawa. For Yoimiya's weapons, Thundering Pulse is the best bow for Yoimiya. It gives high crit damage substats and high base attack. The passive buffs her normal attack up to 40% at R1. With stacks, it is the best weapon hands down. If you already have an ammo bow, you can consider running Yoimiya with it. It has a nice passive that works well with Yoimiya. Rust is the perfect bow for Yoimiya. If you pulled a lot, you might have one of these collecting dust and is a little rusty sitting in an inventory waiting for you to use it. Unless you have bad RNG, you should have one. Yoimiya is born to use Rust, so don't let it collect Rust and use this weapon on Yoimiya if you don't have any 5 star bow. At R1, it easily outclasses all the 4 star weapons. The passive increases normal attack damage by 40%. R5 is double the that. The prototype crescent can shine really well amongst the 4 stars. In the chance that you don't have Rust, prototype crescent comes in second. At max refinement, you get 72% attack for 10 seconds once you hit a weak point. This can easily be retained and used for the duration of Yoimiya's elemental skill. Hamayumi is another craftable weapon that you can use. However, the passive is a little hard to keep up if you use the 4 piece Shimenawa artifact set. So there is a limit there. Between Hamayumi and Prototype Crescent, you should craft Prototype if you can. The Black Cliff Warbow is a flexible weapon with crit damage substats. This weapon makes Yoimiya easier to build, however, you need the weapon passives for it to shine. And this weapon is weak on bosses and single enemies. Let me just quickly run through Yoimiya's pros and cons. For pros, Yoimiya have amazing single target DPS capability. She also have a constant pyro on field application and a decent kit for support. Also, bandages. For cons, she have a lack of AoE damage and the downtime of her main damage source is long. Also, the banner right now is not appealing so you might not pull for her. For Yoimiya's team composition, the first team I recommend is Yoimiya on Firecrackers. This team consists of Yoimiya, Beidou, Electro Traveler or Fischl, and Bennett. Yoimiya will send out her turn of arrows with Beidou at a button away. You can nuke enemies that will take care of Yoimiya's lack of AoE weakness. Fischl or Electro Traveler is the battery and Bennett is the healer and the buffer. The Mono Pyro team is another build that you can consider. This team consists of Yoimiya, Bennett, then you can go for either double Geo team or double Animo. Animo gives Shred, Geo gives Shield, so pick your poison. The last team is the Yoimiya Vaporizers, which is the reaction comp with Yoimiya, Shinchu, Bennett, and Sucrose. This team is good for solos like fighting a boss, 
The playstyle goes like this. Planet punches to the floor, Shinshu with the Hydro Sword Hula Hoops, and Yoimiya go kill. Sukos is a cheerleader that shreds and gather energy for Yoimiya. Yoimiya's essentials is Banette. He will greatly boost Yoimiya's damage and any support she is with. A great battery that unlocks Pyro Resonance. I highly recommend pairing him up with Yoimiya. Beidou is another character that will bring the best out of Yoimiya. Yoimiya will be the best enabler of Beidou with her insane attack speed and ability to provide an insane attack boost from her passive. And with Pyro Resonance, these factors boost Beidou's damage greatly. Beidou is also a great off-field DPS. Electro Traveler is another character that I highly recommend. He will provide an insane amount of energy recharge while giving Electro Resonance with Beidou. This allows Yoimiya to run a low energy recharge build and focus on getting stats like crit rate, crit damage, attack on artifacts. Lastly, Sayu can bring heals and a VV set for Shred. She is also a Claymore user that can aid with enemy shields and mining. She also rolls really fast and can catch crystal flies. If you need a healer, a taxi, a miner, and a crystal fly supplier, no, no further than Sayu. That's about all I have for you guys today. Again, thank you for the recent support. I am gonna make tons of new videos coming up and make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and stay tuned for more Yoimiya guides and tests, and I'll see you guys soon.